Clause 2 of the Act um, contains provisions on providing advice and information for all people. This applies to all people in your district and the provision of free advice and information to anyone who needs it. So what the Act does, it amends the current duty, the current general duty to provide advice, which is set out in Section 179. It significantly expands this duty and amends it in some key ways. So now it tells us um, what the local authorities need to provide free advice and information to any person in their district who wants it. And the information needs to cover uh, preventing homelessness, what they can do to prevent homelessness occurring, how people can secure accommodation when they are actually homeless. The advice needs to be covering the rights of homeless people or those people who are threatened with homelessness. The advice needs to tell people how they can access the help that's available to them and also cover all the help and advice that is available from the local authority. So it's really expanding and making sure there's a greater um, extent and greater detail of the free advice and information that is available to anybody who needs it, with the intention being that people are better informed, better armed to find solutions to any homelessness or housing situations that they may be experiencing. So what, what do you need to do? Well, basically, you need to ensure that your services uh, are designed uh, to meet the needs of particular groups who are homeless or threatened with homelessness. So whilst there's a general duty, there's also a specific duty to ensure that those services meet a number of the needs of a number of specific groups, such as care leavers, people leaving prisons, people leaving hospital. Uh, so it's making sure that your services are appropriate to meet the, the needs and demand in your local area. So, you know, it won't be the same across the country. Uh, so what we're thinking you might want to do is do a bit of service mapping and gap analysis on what advice services there are in the district. So it's not just about the service that you deliver, because the duty here is to ensure that that advice and information is available. You don't have to provide it all yourself. So make sure you include advice that you commission uh, or other advice agencies within the, dis the district. So where is it provided? How is it delivered? What works well? What needs to be improved? What, where are the gaps? And also, I think, looking at your website, make sure your website is actually providing that advice and information tailored to those groups.